Hello from YouTube, it's Alex here, back with some more, well, something different again. Welcome to Toad the Accurate Battle Simulator, the Open Alpha. Something different, I know, something a little bit off the beaten path of what I normally put on this channel, but hey, I may as well throw something new out there and just let me know what you think about this shit. Do you want me to continue with it, or do you want me just to have this as a one-off and uh, call it a day? I don't know. You tell me, guys. Um, also, I should mention I have had a few drinks ahead of time, so... Feeling a little bit a uh, bit off your uh, off my normal uh, rails, but uh, who gives a crap? Um, but anyway, no, I've had a brief. Uh, I say, well, I say brief. I've had a bit of a mess around and play around with uh, uh, tabs ahead of time, so I roughly know what to expect. I have also seen the uh, previous versions, like, like the really sort of uh, stuff in the, the closed alpha, so I, I know what roughly all of this stuff does, uh, and so on and so forth. Now. One thing I want to uh, firstly give a, um, also we'll have a bit of a mess around with, is Trump and Hillary. People have done this before, but now this could just be purely game mechanics. A and I, you know, I accept that. There's going to be game mechanics that are going to be, just, might just happen to favour one way or another. Um, give me a second, let me just turn down the, uh, let's just turn down the volume sort of around there. That could be too low, could be too high, I don't know, but we'll put that there. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, now, I'm pretty sure the developers are not in the US. I think I think they're Swedish. I could be entirely wrong, so don't call me a dick for that. Uh, but I was messing around with Trump and Hillary, just, just doing a simple one-on-one -on -one battle here. Now, the thing is, I mean, it, like I said, it's just, this could just be purely game mechanics uh, and how this just happens to work in the game and everything, but... Uh, I'm under the impression that Hillary is, technically speaking, in a one-on-one -on -one battle better than Trump. I got proven entirely incorrect. <laughs> um, what I was bound to say until I got completely screwed over by the game proving me otherwise uh, was the fact that Hillary did seem to be consistently better on Trump. And There we go. Okay, I got proven right this time. So We'll, we'll just replay this a couple of times, but it kind of makes me think. Um, I, intentional or not? I suspect this isn't intentional, but I'm willing to think that uh, the devs might have made Hillary slightly better in that was their opinion. Maybe they, uh, if they were in, in the US or something, uh, okay, Trump won that time, so uh, best out of five. Um, but maybe that's what they were thinking, maybe, they, maybe the devs just preferred Hillary over Trump if they could have their say. Uh, if you want to know my stance on the thing... Well, I don't really. Let's just say I'm not going to disclose that information for the simple reason of I want to remain the neutral party here. I, I respect the fact that, um, okay, that was probably unfair on uh, Hillary's side just because uh, Trump pushed her into a wall. Uh, but I would like to remain neutral in this uh, in the, the whole debate. I mean, I'm from the UK, as you guys should be aware of, uh, but it doesn't matter. You know, Trump got elected and I couldn't care less, you know. Well, good for him. Let's hope he doesn't screw up the country. <laughs> um, so we'll go on for that. Uh, anyway, let's um, let's have a bit of a mess around with some different troops here. Now, one thing I often did, um, at least when I was messing around, was if I can actually remember who's who um, in this particular thing here. Now, it's a little bit difficult to do this, but I often do the um, the whole shield and spears thing. And so this was something you could do in the old version of the game, which was very effective. Now... I would say the thing with spears now is they do move a little bit faster uh, than the shields, but that doesn't seem to be too much of a problem all the time. But like this kind of formation is uh, well, something something you would expect the Vikings to do. Now, speaking of Vikings, let's actually just put a bunch of them in. We'll just we'll just have a, uh, a simple battle here with maybe uh, a couple in the back there. Okay, so we'll try this. Even or not, I wish the um, they would hold the spears up a little bit. Um, but regardless, that is uh, quite the clash of titans here. No, not really. Uh, let's see who wins in this battle. I don't know. I'm literally just messing around here, guys. Um, but if you want me to actually do something more consistent, maybe even some, maybe even some user suggestions. I don't know. Uh, looks like the Vikings are actually going to win. They do by actually a good amount. So, uh, okay, line of Vikings and. We might have a couple more on this side. I know the money is a bit um, different, but you know how this goes. It's interesting that the the, um, the spears don't actually spear the um, Vikings dead in the gut. It seems, but 
They are they, they are quite impressive. Like they just seem to just roll through. Um, but yeah, so it looks like the uh, Vikings have won again. Um, speaking of uh, more about the Vikings, let's um, let's simply have maybe four of the giant dudes. I love these guys. These giant like these. You know what this kind of reminds me of? Like I'm thinking like giant men. Um, Hagrid comes to mind. Like imagine Hagrid from uh, uh, Harry Potter. By he had a giant axe instead. So now, even though there's less men for the people to kill, I don't know. This is going to. Ooh, there's actually only one left. Oh, okay, there's one guy still flailing around. Looks like the Blues will probably win, but I don't know. Quite interesting. Um, I, I heard some news about the super peasant about how that was. What? Well, that's brutal. Um, about how he's gonna. Meant, he's meant to be a bit changed and be a lot more. Uh, more like Superman. Uh, so that's gonna be interesting. So, so Super Peasant at the moment doesn't do a lot. Is this one. Is this one freaking axe guy going to. No. Okay. So there was actually a couple shields left. Okay. So I stand corrected. But um, you, you know what the. Um, the simplest. Uh, the simplest method uh, to deal with uh, this kind of formation. Uh, literally just have a couple barrel rollers and some head butters in the back. <laughs> this is the only problem, like, since the introduction of the barrel rollers, like, it literally just makes any kind of shield formation like this entirely pointless. Uh, but they actually did survive a bit, so let's, um, let's see. So, <laughs> oh, what is this, um, what is the insanity? Like, no, actually, you know what the head butters remind me of? They remind me of the... Uh, iron helmet from Skyrim, uh, but instead of the Dragonborn using it and everything, basically, yeah, the Dragonborn was like, I'm just going to use my head and the spikes on my helmet. Um, I actually stand corrected. It does look like it is going to be a blue victory. Wait, who's left? Ew, who's left? Oh, there's always there's always the one head butter that's like stuck behind the wall. So, um, surprisingly, the they didn't actually kill, like, the, the barrel rollers didn't actually finish the job, so... Uh, let's just have, like, a small line of art just to deal with the stragglers. But barrel rollers... That's just a bit stupid. Um, but since the introduction... Yeah, I was going to say, that would have been a clean victory, but... Yeah, barrel rollers just make any kind of line formation with shields like this basically pointless. But let's, um... Okay, here's here's another scenario. So we'll have. I'm just going to keep using this formation because I already have it uh, pre-made. But let's have like I don't know, uh, just a bunch of thieves um, dealing with or what am I trying to spit out here? Um, let's just say I know it's from these are from Greece, but let's say the Romans here uh, had to come in to deal with a, just just a, like a big gathering of thieves uh, for whatever reason. So let's have let's see how this goes. See what I mean? Like shields are a lot better against um, melee units and everything, um, just because they can at least absorb the uh, hits that they do. And it does look like the Romans have won. Um, some people were saying that the um, the thieves will try and backstab uh, a little bit. They'll try and get around to the back of people and backstab them. I've not really noticed that, but eh, it's interesting. Um, okay, let's try a similar formation, but just a bunch of unarmed Taekwondo um, guys. I probably didn't pronounce that right, but uh, um, pronunciation is not the best. So, um, so let's see how this goes. Actually, you know what I'm going to do next? Let's, let's wait for this battle to conclude. But I'm going to try Taekwondo versus how many peasants? How many how many peasants can a Taekwondo guy uh, deal with? I am greatly interested, but I, not too surprising, but um, yeah, the uh, <laughs> people with weapons and shields won. It looks like this one guy is still holding on, and it didn't really look like he got spiked at all, but uh, you know, that's how we go. So let's try whatever I was doing. So one of him, and then apparently peasants are here. So we'll try three peasants. I'm, I'm sure we might be able to deal with three peasants. So let's, let's have a quick look at this. What? So, okay, perhaps not. Perhaps Taekwondo are not quite so powerful. Uh, so two peasants versus 
one of one of these guys. I suppose it's because these guys don't have many hit points. It's like the first guy he kicks, and it insta kills him. But the second guy takes a fair few hits. Very interesting. Uh, now I think about it. So uh, let us see. What are we going to mess around with this time? Let's um. You know what? Uh, actually, yeah. I did see one guy do something a bit insane, but we need to go to uh, a different map for this. Uh, you know what? Let's um, let's try and break my PC. My PC can run this game pretty well, so let's just let's just do this a minute. Um, a bunch of trumps, because because Trump, um, and that be my Facebook. Let's ignore that. Um, and then let's try. Um, good question. What are we gonna try? Lots of spear throwers. Like uh, when I say a lot of spear throwers, I mean a lot of spear throwers. This will probably kill me, um, but let's see. No, not not too bad. It's gonna get it's gonna get a bit insane when the uh, when they start shooting. That's what I'm gonna say. And here we go. Here comes the lag. 15 FPS. Okay. Ooh, 10, 9. Uh, slow mo does help with um, getting your FPS sorted out. If you're uh, wondering. Back up to 20. If I have it off of slow mo, I'm down to like six. So uh, we have to run this on slow mo. Uh, I'm pretty sure the trumps will uh, just clean up here. Spear throwers. As much as I would like to like them, it's a, it's a good concept uh, of a troop. But um, yeah, that stat wasn't really going to work. Okay, so let's move all those spear throwers. We need a we need a bit more of a challenge. Okay, let's try. Because I, I, M16s are kind of OP for the knockback that they do. So let's try... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Actually, it was 6, 7... 7 M16s versus I don't know how many Trumps. These guys are OP, in my opinion. They're, they're weak, but the amount of damage that they do will deal with people. And not to mention the knockback is kind of insane. Like, and they, they will aim for headshots. Um, I have noticed M16s will aim for the head, uh, which is quite interesting. They are really cutting down the trumps, but now now the trumps you see are getting into range. Okay, so M16s, you just need to overwhelm them with numbers, uh, it does seem. So, very interesting. Okay, so let's try somewhere in the neighborhood of 50,000 in terms of money of trumps. And then we'll do the same with Hillary. So people have done, people have done this already, but I, I the, these troops are just funny. Uh, if I, if I had to answer this question, uh, which troop do I prefer, Trump or Hillary? Literally, just looking from a gameplay standpoint. This has nothing to do with my personal opinions on the on the uh, the two candidates. But uh, if I had to pick, which is the most interesting in terms of uh, a troop in the game? Trump is definitely is just. He just he's just funny. Like I, I, he's probably because he does this. He builds freaking walls. I mean, what there there, are, there is no troop that does that. And you know what surprisingly Hillary is going to win. Um I suppose it kind of does prove a point that I'm pretty sure the devs made Hillary slightly better than Trump. Perhaps to indicate their uh, personal opinion, but no, Trump is just the more in interesting in my opinion of uh, the troops in the game, but uh, I mean Hillary is pretty much a ninja master with five times the health. Um, although I gotta admit, Trump does look pretty cool with the double, with like the double AKs. Um, if only he had a bit more uh, accuracy and range, maybe. But then again, if you're dual wielding AKs, I don't think you're going to be the most accurate person in the world. Um, and I swear he loves building walls. <laughs> that is certainly amusing. So who's going to win this? Um, it's two on two. One on, one on two. Okay, Trump won that time, so don't show you, things can vary. Okay, now I would say for fun, this is going to be purely a fun a fun one again, but let us um, let us overload the world a little bit with catapults. <laughs> I haven't done this actually, um, even in my messing around, but... Okay, I'm going to need a bird's eye view of this. This is... Oh, jeez. <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the freaking balls. Oh, God. Uh, okay, I broke it. I broke it. I I broke it. Um, okay. Um, I was gonna say the the um the boulders that they throw uh do seem to uh like hit hit like bounce off each other. Okay, let's try it a little bit less insane. 
We'll do a line of cannons each. Maybe get a similar amount of money. Okay, there's, more, there's definitely a lot more on blue, but this is for fun. Cannons! This will be interesting. <laughs> Let's get a good view on them, even though I'm... I don't... That doesn't look... Okay, then. Um, and... Oh, God! <laughs> oh, that's a lot of cannon fire. In theory, blue should win, because I looked at the total amount of money spent and everything. There's a lot more... Uh, a lot more blue troops than red troops, so this should be uncontested. Although, ha, huh, there's going to be a guy stuck behind the rock, of course. I mean, what hat are you wearing? Oh, yeah, it's one of like, the revolutionary flags. Um, not flags, hat. Um, but if it... Oh, there's still individual battles going on. What's going on here? Have we got any more? Oh, there's actually a few on this side still alive. Interesting. Okay, who are you like? I can't tell who's alive and who's dead. Like, what do you... Wait, what? What are you shooting at? That guy's... I don't know. Um, okay, let's prove a point. Right. It's... You no. Know, um, oh, yeah, what, one last... Um, I may as well not drag this on for two long, but one last battle will I I had in mind. Uh, now, if, assuming I could find all these people, but... Um, I'm going to have, like, the melee versus... Uh, the melee versus the gun. So, like, a reasonable number of each type of gun. And uh, we'll see how that goes. So, M16, two trumps. Let's see. Uh, what else we got? There's some um, there's cannons again. I still haven't memorized all, all these people and names, so... And we'll have three cannons on each side, sort of going in this diagonal fashion. Uh, Napoleon, let's see. Okay. And then we'll have, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven muskets. Going along like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so it's basically a bunch of guns and artillery versus however many, um, however many melee focused troops I can uh, think of. Uh, so let's see. So we'll have. Okay, so leading the charge, we'll have three samurai masters. Now it's gonna it's, it's gonna be quite uh, heavy on the melee side, but. Melee in on itself isn't particularly effective, so at least not versus this many guns. So we'll have to see how that goes. So let's let's give them let's give them a line of samurai to back them up. Okay, now the Vikings are going to be joining forces, so we're going to have uh, three axemen and a small group of uh, what's it, about four or five about five uh, five normal Vikings. Around the back there. Okay, so let's see how this goes. At least for the initial attack, I'm just going to keep a bird's eye view just to sort of see what's going on. Um, so the interestingly, the axemen can at least take. Uh, they okay, so these are the trans, but they can actually take a cannonball to the face, but not a second one. It seems. Um, I think the biggest problem is going to be that M16. Like he's going to clear up. If no one else does, he's going to clear up. So okay, that was quite. Uh, an easy blue victory. So uh, I'm just going to keep loading up the melee troops until um, until we're going to end up with uh, some like overwhelming uh, an overwhelming problem. So I had some samurai. Let's see, ninjas, hawachas. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, footmen. We don't have any uh, footmen. So let's put some footmen in. We'll have them behind the samurai. So I have a row of them. Headbutters. I would consider melee. So we'll have. A few of them behind the Vikings. Okay. And what else are we gonna go? This is some thieves. We could just have like literally one entire row of thieves. I mean that's quite a lot, but maybe that would be the overwhelming numbers to deal with the M16 at the back. So that's a lot of troops. But like I said, it's melee versus, in this case, guns. I mean, I suppose a cannon is not really a gun. It's just why are the cannons shooting the ground? What is going on here? Um. But. I would say it's close enough for government work. So, uh, this looks like the samurai, uh, mostly speaking, the thieves are, are winning on this side. This one M16 is still going. He, I would say he needs to turn around and deal with the left side because his cannon's going to fall. Uh, the trumps are still at it over here. I think there's only one left. He just built a wall. Okay. M16, I think this is going to be the only guy you just cannot defeat. There's actually one big axe guy left. He's... Okay, he's moving in. Oh, no, no, it goes the M16. Yeah, 
Like, you can see how overpowered M16s are. If you can't, like, you just do this, I guess, Samurai Masters down, but he is basically the only troop left. I mean, Dark Peasants are kind of OP, but yeah, but M16s, as you kind of saw to the end there, like, he was the only guy standing, and he just cleared the table, so... Um, there you go. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this up here because that was just literally just me messing around. So let me know what you think of this video. Should I do any more of these um, tabs related videos? Uh, if so, let me know. And if you want me to do any user suggestions, assuming you actually want me to uh, continue with this. Uh, so yeah, let me know all down below in the uh, in the comments area. Um, one quick sneak peek into what's coming up. Uh, all I'm going to say in Space Engineers, I have a huge project going along. I'm, gonna, I'm building an entire fleet of ships. Uh, at least uh, combat related ships, so that's all I'm going to say, I have an entire fleet being planned out here. Uh, so I've built three ships now and I've probably got another six ships to go, so lots of interesting stuff and Space Engineers that are coming around soon. Uh, and there we go, so anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.